Alrighty, I'm gonna discuss in today's video future ride concepts that Canada's Wonderland could see in the coming years. The concepts I'm gonna discuss are things that we've heard come out of direct um, park management's mouths, of areas of interest, rides of interest, and some of these are just flat out rumors and reaches, but I'm gonna discuss their possibilities, the locations that I see these attractions occurring in, and future expansion plots of lands, because a lot of people talk about Canada's Wonderland and being out of room and it's simply not true. Look at the map I just presented in front of you. Let's talk about the area in pink up by planet Snoopy. The area in pink in my personal opinion, could fit a Fire Chaser Express roller coaster so well um, that I just honestly hope that it's in the future. And if that doesn't happen, the orange area could also house a Fire Chaser Express type of roller coaster at Canada's Wonderland as well, too. Um, or orange could house a GCI roller coaster. So either or would be great options. Um, a GCI at Canada's Wonderland would definitely help them maybe be able to remove Mindbuster down the road or Wild Beast for other their expansions as well. Wonderland has a really old wooden coaster lineup and introducing new style wooden coasters to the general public at Canada's Wonderland would be a gift. Two other coasters I could really see coming to Canada's Wonderland are definitely the wing coaster in the top image or the mock um, extreme spinning coaster, the bottom image there. A uh, mock extreme spin I definitely think would just fit in at, in uh, Frontier Canada extremely well, or maybe even an Asian theme over in the new international um, area. So maybe the green, yellow, or the red and orange area on the color-coded map that I presented for you. I definitely think that that would work so well at Canada's Wonderland, a mock extreme spinning coaster that I actually am moving it up on my most likely list for coasters coming to Canada's Wonderland. Both just, it just would fit the Wonderland lineup so well. And Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland seem to have like corresponding kind of like attractions, additions and all that. So I could totally see Carowinds getting a dive coaster in the future and Canada's Wonderland getting a mock multi-launch coaster. And that's why I think the extreme spinning coaster would actually fit in at Wonderland really well as we already have um, a launch sit down coaster so they might want to go for that extra diversity with the spin um, so I definitely think those two rides are super possible at Canada's Wonderland um, and other two additions I think are extremely possible <clears throat> wink um, and in our near future is the fast house at the bottom there um, it, should be a multi-level design on Firework Hill is what I'm going to predict based off of construction markers. And I think they're going to make it very Canadian. Um, like a ski resort would be my guess with the mountain in the back and, you know, needing it for Winterfest. And I think it's going to house a lot of people. And from what I'm understanding, it looks like it could even have like patios, outdoor sections. So imagine the photos from higher up on a patio. Um, another thing I could definitely see is a dark ride a flying theater by Mondial specifically. Maybe they would go with a different manufacturer, but I could totally see a Mondial coming to Action Theater, one on each end. We did the math. It fits in perfectly. So I could definitely see them adding that in Action Theater to make use out of that building. Woo! Um, an invert coaster is definitely on the likelihood at Canada's Wonderland, but you are definitely going to see Flight Deck and Time Warp removed before that even happens. So I could definitely see um, uh, it being possible in the light green, sorry, the lime green and yellow area if they're to, you know, you see Flight Deck and Time Warp being removed. An RMC. Now, this is really difficult because the park definitely has said if they do get an RMC, it won't be a conversion. So you won't see the wooden coasters currently at the park converted into an RMC. It would be a ground up, which makes sense. Canada's Wonderland has constantly told us, enthusiasts at events that you go to, that Wonderland is always after the tallest, fastest, and longest steel coaster type category. It just does really well attendance-wise and fast lane sales-wise. So if they were to build an RMC, I would definitely see it being a really tall, long um, RMC. I don't see it in our near future. I really don't. There's been a lot of problems with RMCs at current Cedar Fair and Six Flags Parks. So I definitely see that being at very unlikely slash at the end of when we're built the current things I've gone over. Um, I also could see other coasters like a flying coaster come to Canada's Wonderland. But if I did see an RMC, I would see it in the Wild Beast Medfair area. It would just do really well over there or maybe even in the Frontier Canada section. Who knows? What do you guys think? Um, 
Um, with the current map I've provided, do you have any suggestions, any comments on what you think could be coming to Canada's Wonderland? And uh, what what do you think is possible in the future? T comment down below. I'm going to try and respond to as many people as possible. But yes, let me get to it. I'm going to discuss the color codes now. So as you can see in the very bottom part of the map, the south side of the map, um, you have those like bluish purple color. I think that that could be a future Splashworks expansion. And maybe one of those sections will be used a lot more more um, recently or coming up than we think and that forest area closer to the highway will be a definitely down the road down the road expansion area the yellow area Kingswood if they're not going to use that area anytime soon or there's no recent developments in the next three years with that area I could see them potentially building a hotel there and if that's not an option I could definitely see them building a coaster there a wing coaster would look really good in that section of the park a wing coaster I think would work really well in the red section or the lime green and yellow section those two sections would suit a wing coaster extremely well and it pushes them a little away from the current bm bnm's height um, markers so it would look really good in the skyline outside of that you have your black section uh, on the map that is definitely going to be the fust house um, and the green section right off to the, the dark green section right off to it is definitely um, if kingswood stays then i could see them using that in keeping kingswood for uh you know any sort of shows it is currently important for shows at wonderland so i don't see it going anytime soon unless they absolutely had to develop that land for a coaster it seems like canada's wonderland is definitely not afraid to remove important areas of the park if they need it for an attraction thus the black section the firework hill um, is going to be developed into a fust house and I think they're gonna move the fireworks show to on top of the mountain and guests will have to line up at the front gate area to watch the fireworks show. It is also in the middle of the park, so doing the fireworks from that area definitely just makes sense. Um, but the red section, I definitely think that's gonna be either a wooden coaster or a wing coaster. Uh, the orange section could either be a uh, wooden coaster or a mock spinning coaster, or even just turned into a uh, that that walk through attraction at Cedar Point and Ghost Town Alive at Knott's Berry Farm. I could see them doing something in the infield of Whitewater Canyon, turning it into like a walk through in guest interaction kind of exhibit. The light pink area is definitely going to be either a Camp Snoopy expansion or Planet Snoopy expansion, whatever they choose to go with, or a family kitty coaster. It is a very kids side of the park, so they'll definitely keep that for future expansion for the families. The brown section, definitely an RMC or maybe a mock launch coaster in that area for a Medfair coaster. Something low to the ground to keep it below Leviathan uh, to maybe replace... Uh, Dragonfire way down the road. I definitely think your most recent coasters coming up in time are going to be focused on the light pink area for the family and kids, the red and orange area for Frontier Canada, and the yellow and lime green area for International um, Expo uh, of 1980, I think it's what it's called. I always mix these things up when I'm recording. Obviously, I don't have a script, <laughs> but yes, I think those are the areas that you're going to see the park focusing on the most in the next 10 years. Um, and I definitely think Canada's Wonderland's got a really bright future. So definitely comment down below what you guys think. Um, you guys really enjoyed my color-coded map in the previous video, so I thought I would bring it forward in this video. As always, follow us over on Instagram, Amusement Insiders, and uh, definitely check out our Discord server because that's where we do a lot of our conversation about speculation and general talk on Canada's Wonderland. If you have any questions about Canada's Wonderland, there are a lot more people able to help answering questions in that Discord server. So feel free to join. Link down below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.